So you've just been gifted Comic Life. This is a really good application for making comics, as you might think, with the name Comic Life. But it's also very good for um, demonstrating learning, demonstrating uh, work you've been doing through annotated photographs. It can also be used as a desktop publishing tool. Let's dive on in and have a little look then. So in you go to Comic Life, and as with many apps, when you first load it up, uh, you're given a little bit of information about a product, um, like so. And I uh, will just get rid of that. No, don't remind me, thank you. And then, as always, you have a little introduction to using uh, the app there. Now, uh, the comics that you have in this view here, uh, and you'll rack those up as you start to make them, you, you'll end up filling up the space over time. What you can do, if you tap the settings icon, the little cog, and I mean very little cog down the bottom of your screen in the centre, if you tap on that, you can actually then take off your comics, um, give it a name as a collection and you can export the whole lot out so you can clear out all your comics in one in one go okay uh, and you can do that straight to the school network or you can send a Dropbox or whatever so uh, tap on done and then just go back down to the bottom where the cog is and that'll get you back to ground zero so uh, let's look at the little spanner on the right hand side before we go and look at how we make a comic so tap on that and you then just get an option to open up different things um, get some help so forth and so on so to start making a comic what you do is you just tap onto the plus symbol in the top left hand corner so if we do that and you get the option to grab one from somewhere else so if you copied the whole collection off for example you can pull those back in or you can go to create comic and start one from scratch and if you choose to start one from scratch uh, you've got a variety of different templates to help you get up and running if you feel quite confident in using the software then you can just go ahead and get a blank template or you can just go through the ones that are available to you and choose one of those so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just choose an existing layout so I'll go for this one here and that will open that up so we can then start working on our comic so on our page we've got a variety of different areas where we can uh, work uh, if you want to change something that's there that's existing already you just uh, double tap on it for example where it says your title here double tap on that you get your keyboard and you can then enter your topic so uh, I'm doing this at the beginning of the Chinese New Year, so I'll just type uh, Year of the Snake. Okay, just lose the keyboard, and you'll notice that even though the text didn't fit in, um, Comic Life has just resized the font so it fits in. Now, if I want to change that, I can just uh, tap onto it and I can do things to it straight away reshape it, copy, cut, delete, and what have you. Uh, if I go onto the inspector, that's the eye in the circle on the top right hand corner. Uh, when I go on to there, I get different options related to the actual design of it. And I can choose uh, different styles and, and what have you from that. I can go and change the lettering, uh, change the font, so forth and so on. It's really quite um, detailed. You can do lots of things with the text. And the same is true with other aspects. So let's uh, just go and quickly grab a photo of a snake. So if I want to uh, put an image in then, um, I can do it in one of two ways. If I want to start a new image section from scratch, I can tap on the little icon next to the inspector uh, and I can then just uh, bring in, and you'll have to give Comic Life access to your photos to do this obviously, so OK on there. So go to your pictures, uh, or go to your shapes, uh, you can draw shapes as well, uh, and that will put that straight in on top of whatever you've got already. However, if you want to put a picture into a frame that's already there in your template, then what you will need to do is to just tap on the um, little picture icon in the centre of the frame. So if I do that on this one here, I then get my camera roll up there, and I can just go through, and I can grab my picture of a snake. 
Now you'll notice that the actual picture of the snake goes outside the area of the frame. Um, that's fine, okay, and that's the purpose of the frame there, just to keep it in place, uh, making sure that the actual picture doesn't go anywhere that it needs to go. And uh, that's quite nice, actually. That speech bubble is already quite nicely lined up. Uh, but let's move the snake uh, across those so that we can actually have to do some work on the speech bubble. So there's that, there's a the snake in place, great. I'm now going to do some work on the speech bubble. So I tap onto there, and you'll notice there's a green uh, little uh, re move handle on the end of the speech bubble. We, we use that one to move where the actual speech bubble is pointing at towards the mouth. So I'm going to pop it right next to his mouth there. And when it says your words here, I'll just uh, double tap on that and I can type in what I want the, the snake to say. There you go, great. Now you'll have noticed before when I was doing that, if I was to tap on the line there, you can see there's various handles there. I can use those handles to change the curvature of the actual speech bubble as well. So it's a really handy extra little tip then if you can use those two, the, the reddish sort of coloured ones to give it a real nice effect. If I just turn that around like that, I can make my speech bubble actually look a bit snake-like in itself too. Okay, so building your uh, comic up, you'll carry on and put your various bits in. You can get more sections uh, in uh, in terms of lettering and speech bubbles and that from down the bottom. If they're in the way, what you can do, where those little three lines are in that bottom section, if you just tap on there and slide down, you can hide that toolbar out of the way. If you use one finger to swipe, you can get to see the rest of your page like so. Not only will it work on just one page, but it will also work on multiple pages too. To get an extra page up, what you will do is simply tap on the third icon across from the inspector. So inspector is the first one, then you have the photo insert or shape insert. Uh, then you can choose an extra page. Tap on there and what will happen then is you will get a variety of different things to work with. So you can tap on the plus symbol and get an extra page and that will be uh, just a standard blank page alternatively if I just tap on undo to get rid of that one because I don't want that uh, go over to here, go to template and I can now choose one of many different templates for how I want the page to be laid out uh, and if I go to layout then we'll see I can just get a basic layout alternatively on collection I can go through and I can choose lots of other different comic layouts that might be of interest. So that's how we get into various bits in comic life. Um, the only thing that's limiting you now really is your imagination about the comics or the documents that you want to make. The final part is to just explain what's on the spanner on the far right hand side. If I tap on there we get options to help us with sharing and printing. So you can print from here or share across. Uh, in different ways, so you could open up your actual uh, comic in another app, so I could open in and it will render it out as a PDF and I'll then get to choose uh, a different app to open it in and it will be any app that would recognise a PDF format. Uh, alternatively, if I go back in again, um, I can go copy to and I can send it to one of those three locations we saw before, iTunes, uh, Dropbox or, or to WebDAV on the network. Uh, share, I can get it off, uh, I can mail it off or I can save it as a photo, a high quality photo as well on my photo library, uh, share it on Twitter, Facebook or whatever if you want to as well. Um, and then there's the printing option if you want to print, if you've got access to a wireless printer. So, have fun, enjoy Comic Life, I'm sure you're going to use it for lots of different learning activities. I look forward to seeing them in class. Thank you.